The other half of Studio One is the song section. You can access that by clicking on the song button. This will bring up the new song dialog. There's of course a number of different templates that you can select from multi-track recording. A lot of these also interface directly with Personas hardware uh, because of course Studio One is going to come with any Personas hardware that you purchase now. Uh, so you, but I'm just going to create an empty song real quickly. And uh, so the editing screen is very straightforward, has all the information that you need right here down at the bottom. You've got your transport and your time display, uh, sample rate that you're working in. Performance is where you can uh, measure disk performance. MIDI, of course, will show you uh, MIDI activity and things like that. You can turn the metron metronome on and off, change your time signature, tempo, things like that. Master volume controls are all right here. Uh, this is also where you have quick and easy access to your instruments, uh, your effects, your loops, uh, the files that are on your hard disk, and then also the pool of files that are currently being used in the song that you're working on. Uh, it's very easy to add a track. You click the large plus button. You can also just hit T on your keyboard. This is where you just create your tracks. Um, you can select a color for the track or you can use the auto color setting which will make a different color for each track. As you go along and auto color your waveforms, uh, once you've created a track of course it'll display with all the basic controls. Record arm is right here. Monitoring, you can change from uh, stereo to mono and back and forth right here. Mute and solo controls. You can also bring up the info uh, panel which will give you information on the track uh, such as uh, what's uh, what kind of audio it is, uh, tempo controls, again, things like that, show automation, and so on and so forth. Uh, gives you a little bit more in-depth uh, reach into the track that you're working on. You can uh, quickly and easily import a audio file, of course. And then once you've got an audio file, you can uh, zoom right down here at the bottom. You can zoom in very easily. You can zoom out to show the whole project. Transport controls are pretty basic. Clicking at the top moves uh, your transport locator around. And uh, of course, this is where you can add effects uh, to the track that you're working on. They're very quick and easy to, uh, to add. You can just click and uh, drag and drop. And this opens up the uh, dialog interface for the plugin that you're working with at the time. And uh, so this makes it again very easy to access uh, the plugin controls for this uh, specific track. Um, if you double click on the track, you'll be shown uh, more information on this where your mixer will be shown and also the inserts that are currently loaded on that track. Double clicking on an insert name will show you the interface for that insert and of course this shows you the master output so this is the other half of your your mixing session here where you can actually access the mixer and things like that um, and of course you can also add instruments uh, to your track which is uh, very easy to do uh, Persona Studio One comes with a number of pre-installed instruments most of which are very cool uh, in, such as uh, the synthesizer, the mojito the interface is real nice on all of these. Personas definitely spend some, uh, some good attention to detail when it comes to their interfaces. And there's also a drum machine included, which is very nice. The impact, uh, the impact will remind most users of an Akai style drum sampler or drum synth with pads that you can click and load samples into and things like that. So uh, the instruments are very powerful and again they all come uh, pre-installed with Studio One which is very cool. Uh, recording audio is very easy to do as well. Uh, I will do another a, a tutorial on recording audio in Studio One but uh, again because Studio One directly interfaces very easily with any Personas audio hardware it's very quick and easy to set it up and get it going for recording audio. So this is of course just a basic overview of Studio One. Uh, I wanted to just show you guys some of the features of it and some of the things that you can do with it real quickly. I will be going more in depth uh, into it as time goes on, giving you some tutorials on uh, how to use it in everyday audio production and use it in your workflow. You can check it out at uh, Personas' website of course, personas.com and be on the lookout for more video tutorials coming from me very soon. Thanks. Thank you.